Hi, my name is Amit Serper and I'm the Director of Security Research at Sternum. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can easily protect your OpenWRT device from various vulnerabilities and exploits by using the free tier of our Sternum product. So let's dive in. So we are now on our OpenWRT device, connected to it via an SSH connection. Now, I have here in the root home directory, I have our attack simulation kit, which is a tool that you can download off of our website, which I will show you later, that can simulate various uh, vulnerabilities and exploits. Now, if we run it, you can see that we can we have a few scenarios here. We have some heap memory attacks, we have we have some heap information leaks, and we also have command injections. So in this demo, I'd like to focus on the command injections. So what are command injections? Just to uh, quickly, uh, uh, quickly have a recap. A command injection is when uh, a user control string is being passed uh, directly into the system C API call. That means that if there is a web page, for example, on your router, where you can uh, ping an address to see if it's responding, to see if your connection is up, usually what happens is that the developers are taking the input from that ping form and they're taking the input, which is your the IP address or the host name that you'd like to ping, and they're passing it as is, as a parameter, uh, via the C, uh, the system C API call, uh, and they're basically running the command ping space uh, whatever input is in uh, the the uh, the input box that the user can control. Now, in many cases, when this uh, when this input isn't being sanitized properly, an attacker can uh, inject an arbitrary system command. So instead of sending a ping, they could run whatever they want with the privileges of the web server, simply by adding a semicolon. So uh, by adding something like semicolon cat slash etc slash pass wd, you can run the ping command. The, the command will get to the semicolon, which will end the previous command and then execute whatever is after the semicolon. So that means that you can uh, run arbitrary commands on the router. So let's try to simulate something like that with the uh, attack simulation kit. So we can see that if we we'll run it with three, which is the category of the command injection, and then one, which is the simple without sanitation scenario. We can see that a ping is trying to be sent. And then once the command is finished, we can see that the contents of slash etc slash pass wd are being uh, uh, printed out to the terminal, which means the command injection was successful. So now let's go to the browser. Let's install sternum and sign up and do the whole process. And then let's run this attack again and see what happens. Okay, so we're now back at the browser. So in order to sign up for the for the free version of Sternum, you need to go to app.sternum.cloud slash sign up and you'll get this page. And after a very, very simple um, registration process, you'd be able to get access. So I filled in an email address and now I'm going to get uh, 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 a link to my inbox. So let's meet up again after I finish the whole uh, uh, registration process. Okay, so now that we've completed the registration process, we are on the screen where we're actually getting started with installing Sternum on our OpenWRT device. So now it's pretty straightforward. We need to prepare our OpenWRT device. So we're assuming that you have either one of those versions of OpenWRT. If you do, just click Next. And here you need to select uh, the proper architecture for your product. So right now we support ARM 32 bits or ARM 64 bits. In my case, I am running on an ARM 32 bit device. So I will just pick um, this button right here. And we can see this one liner here, which is basically the line that we're going to paste in our terminal to install Sternum. So let's copy this one liner and go to our OpenWRT device. Let's clear the screen and let's uh, paste the command. Now what's going to happen is there's going to be uh, a few uh, O-package updates and O-package installs to, uh, to get all of the dependencies that we need to install Sternum. And then the Sternum installer will be downloaded and executed. And all in all, it's a fairly quick process which shouldn't take more than 20 or 30 seconds. So let's go. So we can see that things are being downloaded.
and sternum is being installed and that's it so now let's go back to the browser hit next here and basically we're ready we're ready to monitor our device so let's click start and there we go the device is connected and we can now see it here here is our open WRT device so now we can see here that we have uh, we can look at the dashboard we can look at glances which show which shows us uh, various uh, various items and, and, and all sorts of information on our device we will touch on that soon but now let's go back to our device and try to run the same attack scenario that we did before so let's do attack simulation kit and do attack simulation kit three and one so let's run let's run this scenario again the same scenario that we ran before so three one let's hit enter and we can see now that it failed we can see that um, the ping was not sent and etc pass wd was not printed out this is because sternum is catching is detecting catching that um, uh, command injection exploitation and stopping it now if we we'll go back uh, to our cloud system here to the platform we can see that there are two alerts so let's look at those alerts the first alert is the new IP address. That is just uh, that just means that the device connected and uh, it identified that the device that we have just installed Sternum on has a new IP address. So this is fine, but we can also see that the command injection was detected. So let's investigate that one real quick. And if we're looking at those alerts, we can see that there are a bunch of events here. We can see like regular events, regular executions that happen because the device needs to do its thing and run. But then we can see here with that yellow circle that there's a dangerous string, uh, dangerous string, and that dangerous string is is the one that we were expecting, the attack simulation kit with the ping command and the semicolon and uh, cat slash etc slash pass w. And if you can, and, and you can see here that red uh, red circle indicates that the command injection was actually detected and prevented. So that means that the device is properly protected. Now. If you want to play with the attack simulation kit as well, if you go to the dashboard screen right here on uh, the right hand side, there is uh, uh, this text, this text box, learn how to use attack simulation kit. And when you click learn more, uh, you can download the, uh, pro the, the proper uh, attack simulation kit to your device, whether you're running on ARM32 SF, HF or ARM64 bits. Uh, the text here will change accordingly, of course, and then you can just uh, copy this one liner, paste it into your uh, in, into your shell on your device, and download it. You can also download the source code if you want. Now, um, as you can properly see here, uh, since this is the free tier, there are a bunch of options that are not open. So for the free tier, there's only the dashboard screen and the glances screen open, but it still protects your device. It allows you to to have up to three device under that uh, up to three devices under that license, excuse me, and install Sternum and protect your device from all sorts of memory attacks and command injections. And uh, I will see you in the next video where we'll demonstrate some cool memory corruption attacks. So thank you for being with me.